What's up everyone, Terraquake here, and I am back with my Pokemon Red Randomized Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we went through Viridian Forest, we took down Brock so easily, and in this episode, I'm hoping to get to that Pokemon Center that is before Mount Moon, and get that randomized static encounter that we can get from the old dude that usually gives you a magic card, but in since this is randomized, since it's a randomized Nuzlocke, we're going to be getting something completely random, so I'm actually excited to do that. And, uh, yeah, I'm just ready to get started. Hope you guys' uh, day is going well. And here we go, 20 minute timer started now. We just defeated Brock, he had what, uh, he had a Magikarp and a, what was it, uh, Weeping Bell, that's what he had. That bell was so easy, man, I don't even know why I was worried. Yeah, I'm pretty excited to finally, um get past pewter city get on to route three we got a couple of encounters coming up before we uh take on the next gym so that'll be good to do um right now i'm really fine with polyrath and charmeleon right i completely i don't know it's been a week since i've recorded episode three and four because if you don't know i sort of record these episodes i guess you could say yeah i mm, i yeah i pre-record these episodes by like a while i mean this episode's going up on Monday, even though I'm recording it on Friday. Alright, I'm gonna pick up a few Pokeballs. Okay, not too much, because I want some room for potions and antidotes. Because antidotes, man, if you get poisoned and you can't make it back to a Pokemon Center, you screwed, man. I'll tell you that. Alright, here we go. Now we're heading out to Route 3. I'm probably not gonna fight every single trainer, um, because really. I'm most likely, at max, going to end up having four or five... I don't have to fight you. I'm most likely ending up going to have, like, four or five uh, team members instead of the full team of six, like, in a normal playthrough, so... Yeah, anyways, here we go. We have a Bug Catcher. Or he's also a Ghost Rider. Oh my gosh, he has a Kadabra. Uh, it's all good. Our boy Rob is easily going to handle this with an Ember. Yeah. I really do... What I, I want to say something here. I'm really trying to improve the quality of videos like my challenge videos or my top 5 videos. Teleport's gonna fail, buddy. But yeah, I really want to improve the quality of them um, because I feel like, I don't know, I, I don't know, I don't know, something about them that doesn't feel, doesn't seem, uh, I feel like I could just do better on them. So I'm really gonna start to improve the quality of them and um, yeah, hopefully that will have you guys enjoy them a lot more. And here we go, one body slam. Oh my, you actually live side up. That's interesting. But yeah, like I was saying, want to improve the quality of my videos because I feel like um they really I don't know, I feel like I can do better on them. But anyways, speaking of videos, I have a challenge video coming out. Well actually, so I'm recording this on Friday, so for me it's coming out tomorrow, but for you guys, you probably already saw it. Unless you didn't see it, and you just completely ignored the video. Like, what are you doing, man? I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. I'm not gonna force you guys to do anything man my team's going up level so fast i'm really just like uh what would you call this duo running with uh dojo and rob sort of you know nido queen and freaking dugong can sort of just sit back there as death fodder hopefully i get something good from the static encounter coming up right before mount moon but yeah and then uh, like i was saying also my top five videos um, i am only making one more top five favorite pokemon video because uh Oh my, you have a Nido King. Okay, chill out there, bud. Luckily, it's weak to Water Gun. But yeah, I only have one more top five favorite Pokemon video coming out because if you guys haven't been following it, I am. I've done Gen Gens one through seven, so yeah. We only got Galar left. I'm already starting to work on it, and you know, like I said earlier, trying to improve the qualities. Wow, this guy had a Nido Reno and Nido King, huh? What are the chances? My boy, a uh, youngster, I thought, I think he was like a developer or whatever, but yeah. You know what I need to do? I need to switch up my moves a bit. There we go. That's better, that's better. Just so I don't have to like scroll down every time. That's just so nice. Um, I like how Pokemon lets you do that. Even since Gen 1, that's great. Level 17 though for our boy Dojo. Yo, that rhymed. I didn't even try to make it rhyme, Bo. Alright, moving on. Uh, I think we have two more required fights here. So yeah, we will definitely get to the Mount Moon one. But I just want to get to the grass, try and get my new encounter. See if it's something if it's something really bad, I'm not going to bother with it. I'm not going to waste my time. Alright, you've got a Weeping Bell. That's perfect, man. I'm so glad I'm not doing an extreme uh, randomizer because those things are insane. I mean, 
the move sets are randomized, the stats are randomized, the typings are randomized, so you just never know what you're going up against. Even if it's a magic card, that thing could be like a dragon type and kill you with dragon rage. So I'm glad I'm just doing one of these normal chill randomizers. And you know, Rob, I can't wait till he gets to Charizard. Hopefully he doesn't die before that. Let's knock on some wood. I don't want to have wood around here, but you know what? We're gonna hope he doesn't die. He's already level 17. He's chilling. Farfetch. Pah, that's one of like the weakest Pokemon. I you know what I hate about Farfetch though? And I never really liked him. He wasn't one he definitely wasn't one of my favorite Pokemon in the first place. But then in Gen 8, how you have to get three critical hits in a row just to evolve. I'm like, that's so luck based and dumb, man. That's just like I get how I get the whole like you know, I get the reasoning on it, but gosh, that's so hard to just evolve such a meh Pokemon, I guess. I don't know. It's definitely, uh, okay. This Electro better not use Self Destruct. Please don't use Self Destruct. Don't. Alright, good. I don't even know if he has Self Destruct at level 9, but yeah, these things can be Nuzlocke Enders right there. I'll tell you that. Alright, and for some reason, yeah, the trainer classes are randomized. So it's kind of funny to see, like, bug characters are actually ghost riders and everything. But once we get into the later games, which I'm planning on doing, you know, after Red and Blue, I'm probably going to go to Gold and Silver, Ruby and Sapphire, because I love doing these randomized Nuzlocke. I think they're just so freaking awesome. But yeah, um, then they'll start getting trainer names and everything. It's just going to be like, bro, what is going on? Like, the sprites just don't match up. But yeah, um, I, that's what I'm planning on doing, at least going all the way up to probably Black and White 2, because I know after that, the 3DS games, there's like a whole different process to randomize them and everything, and you can't use like a, um, I'd ha I don't even have a capture card for my 3DS or anything, so, yeah, I'm probably not going to do those games, but, uh, yeah, uh, maybe after I get done with Black and White 2, I can go do freaking the, the third, what would you call those games, like the trio you know, how you have yellow, crystal, emerald, platinum. Thinking about doing those games, that'd be pretty fun, I guess. And then, hey, there's always those fan-made games out there, too. You never know. But, man, my team, I mean, I'm just... Okay, so here we are, actually. We're at the grass. Let's get something good. Wait, I don't need a switch. My bad. I really want to keep these two even because I don't want to solo run with one Pokemon and then end up dying. That'd be pretty awful. All right. You know what? I might as well fight you. I have a ton of time. We're not even... About 13 minutes. Or, no. Seven minutes into this episode, 13 minutes. Ugh. Can't talk, boys. 13 minutes left, and you have a Doug Trio. Ooh, that's actually kind of scary. It's level 14? Holy cow, get out of here, Rob. No, I'm not risking that, dude. I do not want my boy Rob dying. Oh, yep, there it is. Okay, um, mm, what do I do? Is it faster? Do I, is, is this gonna crit? <gasps> Oh my, that did so much more than I expected. Yo, thank goodness I switched. Holy cow, that didn't even kill it. I've got a heal. Where's my potions? Alright, good thing I bought- I didn't even have any potions before, okay. Dude, that's the problem with Dugtrio. It's so OP. You can literally just freaking uh, crit like every time because it's one of the fastest Pokemon. Watch this. Okay, that was not crit, never mind. But, it's all good. Dude, that scared me for a second, not gonna lie. There we go. Rob gets up to level 18. Man, I'm like, we're just going up level so fast. I do sort of want to get a 13 member. So let's hope we get something good right here. I only have like three Pokeballs because you barely have any money to start out in this game. So maybe we just get lucky. And you know what? If it's something like average, then I'll probably still catch it. So let's see, baby. What's it going to be? A Needle Reno? Okay, so... Mm, um... Mm, we don't really want that, let's be honest. We already have a Nido Queen, and keep in mind, field items are randomized, so we can't even get a Moonstone at Mount Moon, and, you know, the, the chances of us finding a Moonstone are just very slim. So I basically just abandoned my Route 3 encounter, but it's all good because we're about to get this static encounter that's up here, an Ivysaur. See, now I probably would've gotten that. I probably would have gotten an Ivysaur, but... Oh, well, that would have been two starters. That'd be so awesome. Two middle safe starters. We would just need War Turtle to finish it off. Yo, I'm excited to see this friggin' Magikarp. Holy cow. Alright. Oh, I did not mean to leave. Dude, you know what this is like... The, the, this thing about this, you walk into a Pokemon Center, you're like, Alright, gotta heal my Pokemon. You see some random, random dude in the corner, and he's like, Hey, kid. 
you want my magic card for 500 poke dollars and you're like yeah sure because in, in the pokemon world 500 dollars is pretty cheap but the real life version of this would be like you'd walk into a hospital or something and you'd be like there's a random old dude in the corner like hey kid you want a dead fish for 500 bucks you're like ew bro what no that's a rip off but in here you're like oh that randomized pokemon so here we go, 500, jeez, I barely have enough money for this. Are you kidding me? A, dog, why, a poly world? That's not what I needed. Oh my gosh, okay, whatever, whatever, I'm taking it. I'm taking it, you know what, I just had a dude actually comment on one of my videos, hold on, let me get this pulled up. I had a guy comment, okay, so, if you didn't see the comment section, I think on my last two randomized Nuzlog Red videos and all that stuff i said in the comment section that um if you leave any type of comment i could uh nickname one of my pokemon after you and there's a guy i think it's this one hold on guys i think he commented let's see what's his name i'm probably gonna say this wrong but Ber bernio i definitely said that wrong and i apologize for it but hey you left a comment and yeah it's right above my comment where i said Leave any type of comment, and I can nickname my next team member after you. So, here we are. We got our boy, Bernio. I'm sorry. I probably shouldn't say that because I'm definitely pronouncing it wrong. But, congratulations. You're on the team now. But, yeah, I thought that was pretty cool to, like, interact with you guys and everything. Uh, probably won't be using you that much. That's okay. Because I already have a Polyrath. But, you know what? It's all good. We're about to head into Mount Moon. Get another encounter. Uh, by the way, the floors don't count as, like, a brand new area. Mount Moon in a hole is just one encounter. Yo, a Marowak? Oh, heck yeah. Okay, I'll take that. Um, let's try and put it to sleep. There we go. I only have three Pokeballs, so... Gosh, what am I gonna hit this thing with? You know what I'm gonna do? Mm, okay. Okay, don't... Shoot, is this thing gonna have a... Is it gonna have, like, Bone Ringer? Oh, no. You already woke up? Alright, I'm going for a scratch, don't kill. I need this Marowak. Yes, that's good. And that was a critical hit too. And it used Growl. Okay. As long as this doesn't crit, we should be able to get into the red. Yes, nice. Oh no. Okay, I thought Bone Club was a move that hits like more like two to five times. Thank goodness it doesn't, bro. Holy cow, that scared me. Alright, we got it into the red. I'm gonna try and put it to sleep. Bone Club shouldn't do as much. Yeah. A whopping five hit points. Here we go, Dojo. Don't miss. There you go. There you go. Oh, yes, dude. I'm I'm about to catch this Marowak. Let's get it. Alright, so I might as well try and get through some of Mount Moon in this episode. Let's see. I only have three Pokeballs. Come on. It's in the red. It's asleep. One, two, three, baby. Let's go. We got the boy Marowak, the Bone Keeper Pokemon. Yo, let's get it. Alright, so what should we nickname this guy? I'm thinking, I'm thinking, um, hmm, um, I don't want to nickname, I don't want to spend so much time nickname, but I have no clue what to nickname him, um, uh, you know what, Bone Mering, Boomerang, sort of the same stuff, I'm probably even spelling Boomerang wrong, no, I don't think I am, that's how you spell it, isn't it? Yeah, that's how you spell Boomerang, right? Probably not, alright, let me grab this randomized item, Master Ball. Oh, Team 03, what is that? What is that? Team 03. Yo, I probably should start, like, selling my selling my stuff that I'm not going to use. Karate Chop. Ooh. Who can... Oh, Rob can learn that? Yes, that is better than Scratch. Let's teach him that immediately. Let's go. Alright, give her a Scratch. So now we have a good normal type move, unlike Scratch. Just over six and a half minutes left in this episode. I'm going to try and get through as much as Mount Moon as I can. And I'm probably going to switch train Marowak, Marowak some, because, uh, why not? It's gonna be a pretty good addition. Being that, I mean, we don't have a ground type yet. Well, I guess we have Needle Queen, but Needle Queen's only what, like level two or three? It's too late to to train it up, but whatever. Uh, like I was saying earlier, leave any type of comment on this video, and I'll probably nickname my next team member after you because yeah, want to you know interact with you guys more, give you guys a chance to uh to get some. I don't know, get some activity going on this channel. Woo, yeah, activity, fun, entertaining. Woo, I'm, I'm sounding really dumb. Anyways, um, here we go. I think there's another item all the way up here. Ah, dude, this is what's so annoying about Gen 1 Mount Moon. You can't get any uh, 
repels before this, and so literally, I, would I even be able to run away? Oh no. Come on, boomerang. Yeah, there you go. Yo, Marowak's back sprite actually looks pretty good. Oh, forgot you were standing right there. I'm pretty positive there's an item up here because I really want to try and get most of these items because you never know what they could be. They could be a freaking Master Ball. And that would help us out a lot because I'd be like a free, if we ran into a legendary, boom, automatic catch. So here we go. Um, I'm going to just start switch training my boy Boomerang because I think it's nice to have a third team member. Now my Pokemon are looking pretty solid. I mean, later on down the road, we'll be getting a uh, Charizard. We've got a fully evolved Poliwrath. We have a fully evolved Marowak. So I'm pretty happy with my team right now. I feel like they're set. However, Misty, what level is her Pokemon? Like 21 or something like that? Yo, that can be pretty scary, not going to lie. Oh, Moltres! Speaking of freaking scary, holy- Oh no, I just sent in- Oh, I just sent in Nido Queen. Oh my gosh, why did I do that? I misclicked, boys, my bad. Whatever, Nido Queen, you can get some experience. Moltres, what are you gonna do, Peck? Oh wait, I'm part fighting. Oh my, and it's a crit. Actually, that was a crit, so I didn't even do that much. Alright, we good, we good. My boy Dojo can take these hits for days, let's be honest. Fire spin, ha! <laughs> Fire spin missed. Yeah, get out of here. Get out of here. There we go. Um, yeah, no speed's gonna get all four levels from that. Great. I just wasted so much, so much experience. Freaking Marowak probably could have gone up some levels, but whatever. Uh, hold on. Where's Rob? Okay, he needs to be up now. Do I like to keep my party organized, guys? I know it might look really stupid and cringy, but like, it's gotta be done. It's gotta be done. Item. Master Ball. HP up. Okay, fine. Um, actually, that can be sold. You know what? I'm keeping the, this, uh, those kinds of things just to sell them for some money because, like I said earlier, you barely get any money in this game. Okay, so, um, yeah, we're just over three and a half minutes to go. This video, like I said earlier, I, I really like to stay ahead of schedule on things. I feel like it's a lot better for me and, you know, I can get out on time to you guys. And, um, yeah. That's why this video I'm recording on Friday, but it's going up on Monday, then episode 6, right? Because this is 5. Now, I'm recording that tomorrow, yet it's not going up for the other, or the next Friday, a week from today. Can you please run? I thought Marowak was a little bit faster. You know, I've got to face one of these, like, super nerds. Yeah, I remember, or it's either a super nerd or, like, Pokemaniac. Yeah, look at that, look at that weird sprite, what's he doing, bro? Oh my gosh, and he has a magic card too. Alright, come on. Boomerang, you gotta be able to take this guy down. What moves does he have? Bone Club? Gra okay, he's only attacking me with Bone Club. You know what, that's fine. He's about to take down this... Okay, but don't miss. The this Magikarp is literally using Splash. There you go. And... Uh, can't even two-shot it, man. I guess we are three levels lower than... Hit the Magikarp. Thank you. I know Bone Club's probably not like the most accurate move, but come on, Boomerang. You gotta be able to take this guy down. Are you kidding me? That's three times! Please, thank you. Holy cow, okay. And Lapras, yeah. I'm hopping on out. Uh, see ya, Lapras. Wouldn't really want to be ya. I guess, I don't know, I don't, I realize I don't have many good counters for like a water ice type like Lapras or, dude, Cloyster, holy cow, those things, their freaking uh, defenses are just through the roof, holy cow. If I run into one of those, which I most likely will, now that I've said it, I could be screwed because I really don't have anything to counter a water ice type. That's going to be pretty tough. I, mean, I guess my best thing is body slam. Which, as you can see here, this Lapras just keeps on wanting to growl at me. Okay. Alright. Boomerang should get up a level. There you go. Level 9. Finally. Took you long enough. Well, again, what is that sprite? Like, what's he doing? Can, I, I, I probably don't even want to know what he's doing. Potion? You know what? I'll take it. Could have had, like, Super Potion or Hyper Potion, but whatever. Over here... We have a battle. And Porygon, I've been seeing you a ton, man. Come on, Porygon. Get out of my face. Just bone club you. Yo, that sounded a bit weird. Yo, X accuracy? That's not too bad. Full restore? That's also not too bad. I'm gonna try and get into one more trainer fight before the end of this episode. And it's probably gonna be this last right here. Yo, what's up? Oh! Another thing I want to say is later on down the road, I, don't, I never, how would I say this, I never sped run a game before, is that how you say it? I have no clue. But anyways, yeah, I've never done a speed run on any game before, and I just really want to uh, sometime down the road. 
So hopefully, maybe, I'm thinking about saving, like, a speedrun for once I reach, like, a milestone, like, I guess 100 subs, 200 subs, even though we all know that's a long ways away. Well, whatever. I, I don't know. I think it'd be a really fun thing to do because I really want to get into speedrunning games. I'd probably start out with Pokemon Red and Blue. I've already started to look at, like, guides and stuff. And let me say, a lot of them are pretty complicated complicated because you have all these, like, super, uh, manip or super difficult manipulations you've got to do. And I'm like, bro, chill. So, yeah, it wouldn't be the best speedrun you've ever seen. Let me just say that. But, you know, I think it'd be fun to do because why not? But, yeah, like I said, I'll probably want to save it for you know, sometime else, I guess, and, anyways, uh, jeez, Boomerang just destroyed that last, but anyways, uh, yeah, I really want to get into speedrunning, I'd probably do one, like I said, at one of my mile markers, and holy cow, I got to that trainer just before my timer went up, yo, clutch, clutch, clutch man, I guess, I don't know, that sound dumb, Oh, okay, don't have self-destruct, so yeah, after this battle, um, cause, Obviously, oh, it has Sonic Boom. No, 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 one shot, one shot, come on. Oh, ho, ho. what? No, man, you were so close. No, I'm not losing my boy Marowak in the same episode that I got. Oh, and of course he will have gone for tackle. Yeah, thanks a lot, Electro. But, all right. Yeah, um, if the timer goes up and I'm in a battle, obviously, jeez, a polyrath, okay. Um, I can still continue on with the battle, and then I'll just stop after it, but, you know what, in next episode, we're gonna get out of Mount Moon, we're gonna get to freaking Cerulean City, right, that's what it's called, yeah, Cerulean, gotta take on Misty and everything, Body Slam, don't do too much, alright, here we go, yeah, my Body Slam's gonna do more, it's the point, <laughs> your Polyrath doesn't even stand a chance, man, man, get out of here, what is this, like a youngster or something like that, and he's got a Mankey, do I want Boomerang to try and take this on by himself? It's only level 10. What if it has Fury Swipes or something? Nah. Mm. I want I want him to get the XP though. You know what? Nah, he's been leveling up fast. It's fine. He's all good. I'm going to switch him out. And what I'm going to do off camera is probably uh, go back to the Pokemon Center and heal. So then, you know, start the next episode. You guys don't have to watch me do all that junk and everything. Because that would be pretty boring to start off the episode. Like, first three minutes. Me walking on back to the Pokemon Center. Going to heal my Pokemon. And... Blah, 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 blah. We defeated a developer. You sure don't look like a developer. You look like an eight-year-old kid, but... Wait, what do you say? I came down here to show off to the girl. Okay, buddy. Um, good joke. Good one. That one really made me laugh. Anyways, that's it for episode five of my Pokemon Red Randomized Nest. Like, I hope you guys enjoyed. Next episode, like I said, probably be completing Mount Moon, finishing it off. You know, we gotta go do some Team Rocket junk. But anyways, uh, if you guys did enjoy, drop a like, subscribe, and hit that bell so you don't miss my next upload. And for now, I will see you all next time.